Alright, the stereo receiver showed up. So this is what I opted to go with. Um, Bluetooth, no CD player, uh, you know, kind of didn't really want to get a CD player anyway. It seems like it's a dying technology. But um, anyway, I wanted the white faceplate, so I got this. It's considered a marine radio. And here it is. Pretty basic. Oop, I guess that's upside down. But uh, what I'll do is I'll slide the sleeve. See, it's, it's not very deep since it doesn't have to have a CD player. Um, what I'll do is I'll slide the sleeve off and I'll go ahead and use the sleeve to draw my cutout that I'm going to end up putting the stereo right here. Okay, so the this little trim, uh, trim ring, this piece of trim comes off of here. snaps off. Um, then you need to get this mounting sleeve off. So it comes with a couple keys. This is a little key that's going to release this lock here. So you insert it right there. You get a better view for it here. There we go. So when you insert the key, goes in and releases this latch or lock. So do the same thing with this side. And then that latch or that uh, sleeve just slides right off now and the deck can come right out. Alright, so the instructions say in metric 182 millimeter by 53 millimeter is your opening size. Seven inches by two inches or seven and an eighth by two and an eighth but what I'm going to do is just use the sleeve uh, as a template and I'll trace it up here on to the wood I'll figure out where I want it let's get it centered and then I'll trace it out all right I trace the sleeve um, make sure you double check and look behind in here before you start doing any cutting that you're not going to have any interference from anything. I have a, there's a stud here going across the bottom, so you make sure you take that into consideration. So I went, I marked the stud and I went a little bit higher than the stud. So what I'll do is I'll drill all four corners and then I'll get my jigsaw and cut this out and we'll slide that sleeve in and see how it fits. four holes drilled and I'll take the uh, jigsaw and connect the dots get this cut out uh, I might put some masking tape here I'm trying to protect some of this trim but I'll end up probably doing touch-up paint anyway alright I've got the sleeve put in to my cutout and what I'm going to do here okay you see these little tangs are you it, normally if you were going through like a really thin piece of plastic or metal then you would just bend these little tangs in and that would secure the sleeve in. Well, I'm going through wood all the way through pretty much, so I marked with a pen where these tangs are, and then I'll pull this out, and I'll drill a couple holes here in this wood so it gives it a place to grab onto. All right, so I drilled a, kind of drilled a couple of holes here and there, just where this sleeve will be touching. Oops, that, so. So now, you can see where I put that hole, I can push this in, and that will keep the sleeve from coming out. So we'll do it on this side too. And then I can do it up on top because it only goes, the wood only goes to here on the top. So I can bend a couple of these in. I'll reach to the inside and kind of bend them up a little bit better. So I'll go around and try to hit as many as the, of these as I can. Alright, I bent as many as I could and then you see now like it's in there. Pretty good. Now in your instructions here's your, your color code for this harness. So we're going to figure out where our which speakers we're using, and then our power. Uh, we don't have a power antenna. 
So here's our harness. This plugs into the back of the radio. Get it. Right there. And, uh, but we want to get it all wired in first so we can feed this through the hole in the uh, wood paneling and then plug everything together. Okay, I'm not going to be using the purple uh, or the green because that's the rear speakers. Blue is a power antenna or for your uh, turn on your amplifiers, which I'm not going to run. So I'm not going to use those. So I just cut the uh, ends off and I'll, I'll uh, put a butt connector on the end just to protect the end. So black will be ground, uh, red and yellow are going to go together for power. Uh, normally the red would be accessory and the yellow would be battery power, but we don't have a keyed ignition in the trailer, so I'm just going to splice them together. And the white and gray are going to be my front speaker wires that I'll use. I'm only running two speakers, so I'll just use the front speaker wires. So let me get butt connectors on all these. All right. Got my all my butt connectors on, and I always give these a gentle tug, just to see if they're going to come off. I'd rather it come off in my hand than to have them pop off later and have to chase it down. So now up in here, I've got my antenna wire and my left speaker and my right speaker, and I'll grab my power out of here and we'll hook all these up. So they gave us these little rubber plugs for the RCAs. I suppose it's more of a, a marine application, but I can't see it uh, hurting to put those in just so you don't have anything in the cabinet getting inside the RCAs. All right, this is what we're left with. Um, I did a little bit of touch-up painter on the outside. So antenna is going to go here, and then we'll plug the harness in here, and then I'll slide it in. Click in and lock like that, and then we'll grab our uh, trim piece and get that put on. All right, we got our trim piece snapped onto there, and let's see if it'll power up here. To find the station. There we go. Officials at the Washington State Department of Health are urging residents to prepare now for wildfire smoke and poor air quality. Alright, well, there it is. Not too bad, huh? Looks pretty good. Sounds alright. I like it. Uh, it's got Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary input here. Thanks for watching.